Well, praise God, praise God, you lovely people on YouTube and on Facebook and to the whole wide world. Well, we know the world is going a little crazy now, but the Bible said that I'm in this world, but I'm not of this world. What does that mean? I stay away from chaos. I stay away from road rage and uh, bad relationships. My God, you have to stay away and you have to make sure that your choices is right. My God, on this beautiful Thursday, it is beautiful outside today. I, I advise you, if you're in South Bend, Indiana, Go out and do something. Walk with your girl. Walk with your wife. My God. Take your children to the playground. Go fishing. Do something today exciting instead of being in all that chaos. I know you probably tired of just going around arguing and arguing all the time to your husband and arguing with your wife. I know I've been there. I can preach this now. I was married for almost 15 years. My God. I went through it the first three or four years. My God, I went in the garage many days with a tear in the corner of my eye and said, what the hell did I get married for? Yes, I did. And I know if you've been married for a point of time or a long time, you got your hand up saying, you know what? That old pastor may not tell the truth about everything, but that one right there, he telling the truth about that one. My God. So today we're going to talk about something. When they come out of the book of Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, and I never heard it before. Matter of fact, I learned it one day. I was at work, and I was reading the Bible up in my office, and I said, you know what? Let me go in the book of Ephesians. And wow, turn right to Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, where it talks about the uh, husband love your wife like Christ loved the church. And I said, oh, my God, I've been mean. I've been bossy. I can't be told nothing. I make her cry. My God, I got to go home and tell her. So on the way home, I'm driving. My God, crying tears down my eyes. I ain't going to get no help. I'm just telling you my testimony. How when you start operating in love, especially, man, when your wife or that girl love you, it's nothing better than that. God made that a gift. He said it's a gift to fall in love. My God, so this scripture we're talking about, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, it says, Husbands, love your wife like Christ loved the church. And the church is us, how he loved us, that he gave his only begotten son to die for our messy self. He said we are raggedy as, oh my God, a raggedy face towel. My God, you know them sex towels, you know what I'm talking about, them sex towels dry up for two days and you wet them again. My God, you... We are raggedy as a can of sauerkraut to God. So who should think that they're more than somebody else? Well, we all are raggedy, if that makes sense. And he said, I've came short of the glory of God. So then this verse is talking about husband. And this, this verse, and you know where we've been having a lot of issues when the scripture said women be silent in the church. Well, God knew that women ain't going to be quiet. How can you keep y'all quiet? It can't happen. He was talking about husband, get in front of your wife with being a holy man. And so you can help her go to another level with Jesus Christ, God himself. And that is our job. Let me read this in your hearing. It says, husbands are to labor for holiness and purity of their wives. Just like Christ labored for the purity of his church. Talking about us. This means a godly husband will prioritize his wife's spiritual growth. That's to us as men to help them go to another level. Hold hands when you're walking uh, in the mall with them. Hold hands when you're walking down the street. You don't see that no more. Men have just went off. Women have just went off. We're doing some of the stuff I've never seen before. The Bible said that when men become lovers of themselves, can't tell the difference between women and men. Rumors of war. Well, we're right there violence all over the place prices gas prices is up my god they bamboozing us in the churches from the pastors all the way down to the guy that cut the church grass nobody's real no more so it's hard to be a christian nowadays but as a christian husband you have to love your wife like christ loves the church and help her go to another level and you know years ago uh, they were arguing a lot. And now, too, they're arguing about when it says women stay silent in the church. Well, God is smart enough to know how can he keep y'all quiet. Come on. Ain't no way in the world you're going to keep no woman quiet. But this scripture is talking about when it say that, that means that your husband, just like it said, husbands are to labor for the holiness and purity of their wives. 
That's what we have to do, if that make any sense on this beautiful Thursday. It's beautiful outside, too. I advise you to go fishing, go out there, go take your children to the, uh, uh, to the park. My God, hold hands with your boo. I don't know what you need to do, but you need to have joy in your life on this beautiful walk as a Christian man or a Christian woman. It don't get no better than uh, this side right here. You don't have to look back no more like I used to when I was an ex-drug dealer. But God is so faithful to us men. Love your wife like Christ loved the church. And I'm telling you, you'll see a difference in her when you put out your love first. I'm a witness to it. I love you all. You guys be blessed.